Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. You know what I should do as long as I'm in Poshley Heights here? Tattle these two. That's Bo. Wait a second, Mario, exactly what is your relationship with her? Tell me now! <laughs> uh, just kidding, I always wanted to say that. But you did go on an adventure with her, right? Tell me sometime, okay? Alright, maybe sometime. That's Bootler. He's Bo's butler, but what does a butler do exactly? It looks like he only listens to Bo, so I guess he wouldn't answer me if I asked. <laughs> and over here, also as long as I'm in Poshley Heights, I wonder if Pennington will still call me Luigi. Luigi, or er, er, no, rather, I mean M Mario. He doesn't call me Luigi, yes! How are you, dear boy? Uh, that's all you have to say, really? After finally getting my name right, that's all you have to say. Fine, be that way. To the Pianta Parlor! Whoa, hey, yo, yo, did I just say the Pianta Parlor? Yeah, the Pianta Parlor! Finally, we're going in here, and we are going to clear the place out. Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. Yeah, I'm just fan goomba Ah, uh, you don't have, don't have any different dialogue that kind of makes me sad. I went on a trip with the whole family the other day. It was fantastic. It was really fun. Spending time together as a family. I still can't stop checking my high scores in this machine, of course. <laughs> but I'm definitely going to spend more time with my family from now on. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, she's the one that kept going over here and yeah. <laughs> Set of coins, they use Pianta tokens here. You can use one. Okay, same thing. Hey, down Pianta, how's it going? Hey, it's you again. You know, the, the sky going dark was nothing at all. It was great for us. You should have seen the way people were blowing their dough. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we are here and we need to get our Piantas back. So, now we have 37 because we've had them in reserve. Hey, how's it going? Uh, but we aren't at the Pianta Parlor for fun and games. Well, okay, we are here for fun and games. But uh, there are two things here that we can get via these fun and games. The refund badge and the money money badge. So, we are going to need 268 Piantas here. And to do that, I'm going to play the games. I mean, I could just keep buying Piantas using the Pianta Exchanger here eventually, you know, coin grind and whatnot, but mm, let's play the games. I gotta show you the games. So, we've got four different games here, plus the slot machines over there. I'll do the slot machines last, because they're kind of the most boring. <laughs> so, let's start out by going from top to bottom with the plane game. Okay, it'll cost you ten piantas to play, okay? Okay, well, actually, let's, let's do the rules first. Let's check the rules. Playing game? In this game, you turn to a paper airplane and compete to see how far you can fly. The farther you fly, the more piantas you win. And if you land on one of the moving platforms, you'll get a bonus. If you land on a penalty platform, you'll lose piantas. So be careful in landing. The best way to boost your winnings is to collect lots of piantas while flying. Good luck. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, let's play. So, very easy to play. Just try and get as far as you possibly can. Good luck. Thank you. And... Whoa! Where is this place? Like, seriously, where... This is just blasphemy. <laughs> like, where are we transferred to when this happened automatically, by the way? And you can get Piantas in the air and just... If you would like to, but your main goal is to fly as far as you possibly can, if at all possible, and avoid the panels that make you lose piantas. Yeah, so it's not so much about the um, high score as it is um, just trying to get as many piantas as you possibly can, in my opinion. I'm going to play each of these games a few times here, and I only got uh, 10 piantas out of that. I didn't fly all that far there. I got to... Gotta repractice my flight skills to see if I can get some Pianta profits here. Alright, here we go. Mm. The easiest one to get is probably. Oops, oops probably the uh, plane game. I mean, not, excuse me, not the plane game, the paper game, in terms of uh, Pianta profit. And apparently, if you. Uh, in this game, if you, like, jump as soon as you touch the ground or something like that, you can actually jump forward. 
like if you jump and then hold right, you can jump forward from where you were, and I flew a little further that time. That seemed kind of odd, considering that I had a worse start. But I got a one Pianta Profit, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's keep trying here, see if I can get even better. But anyway, that jump forward thing that happens, if you try that, that trick is more like a glitch, if anything. Like an oversight by the programmers, and I've seen people use it to get just a little bit more distance off their flights here. But uh, I have not been able to figure out how to get it. <laughs> oh shoot! It, oh, I actually got it! <laughs> well, I mean, I lost Piantas there because... I landed on the panel, but I actually managed to do the jump trick that I never was able to do before. <laughs> yeah, you do. You jump when you uh, pop out of the plane, and when you touch the ground, you jump and hold forward. Uh, okay, yeah, I lost Piantas. <laughs> Piantas there because I landed on the panel. But okay, I'm I'm happy that I actually got that jump trick. All right. So anyway, I'm going to quit that. I know I lost Piantas there, but I'm gonna. Go to a game where I can more easily win Piantas in here. So, let's go to the paper game here. There we go. Alright, and going in. Uh, the paper game is a race, basically. And in order to get through this, you have to turn sideways, otherwise you'll be blown off the edge by the fans. And wow, there's a lot of competitors! <laughs> Just watch where the fans are, and oh! I failed. <laughs> turn sideways whenever you see the fans turn, basically. Like, you see them start moving, and yeah. Alright, let's do this. Let's pay more attention here. Oh no! Watch the fans more carefully, and when they turn off... Let go. There we go. Go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Just watch the fans. Okay, go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang it. Yeah, you, you're pretty much vulnerable everywhere and the fans start moving. So just watch for the pink dots, basically. No, mm -hmm. oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. There's a lot of competitors in this race, by the way, in case you didn't realize that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I think I got this! I think I've got this! Yeah! And Luigi's playing, by the way. <laughs> In case you didn't realize that. When does he go on his adventure anyway? <sighs> so yeah, if you get first place, you'll get 20 Piantas. And that's what, probably what makes it the easiest game to make Pianta profits off of. Because... You can, you know, sort of predict what's going to happen in the game by watching the fans and, you know, just by playing this game over and over and over again, you can just keep getting more profits. Yeah! And the the competitors are typically not all that good overall, if you didn't realize that. <laughs> like, you can tell that they aren't as efficient as they could be, per se, yeah. <laughs> Nope, not gonna get blown off. Nope, not gonna happen. Nope. See, I'm, I'm already getting a pretty decent amount of distance away from the closest competitors as I go and just keep trying to make my moves as efficient as possible. And yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and you can also tell which way the, the fans are going to blow you depending on which side of the screen, I should say, what side of the track the fans are blowing on, like if they're close to the screen, you're gonna be blown towards the back, and vice versa, but the fans in the back. So yeah, alright, one more time, one more time. Let's do it. <sighs> we all move the same speed, by the way, if you didn't notice that before. Uh, but, it's so, th this thing is all about the efficiency, basically, by making yourself uh, be able to go as fast as possible through this track, basically. Oh boy, that was close. Fans came on much, much quicker than I was expecting it. Where, where are my competitors? Where did they go? They, oh, there they are. <laughs> it, 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 I'm, I've gotten so far ahead this race. Yeah, this is definitely the easiest one to get Piantas off of. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo! It was just that first initial fail. 
that I had, but ah, whatever. All right, next game. Next game. Uh, I'm probably not going to get all of Piantas on camera. I'm just going to show you how to play through these games and then um, collect the remaining ones that I need for those two badges off camera. Uh, but that reminds me, one of those badges, I think it's the Money Money badge, you can actually get from the Dark Boos at Poshly Sanctum at Poshly Heights, you know, the place that I was at at the very beginning of this part. But it's via a drop, so don't count on it. <laughs> it's a pretty rare drop. Anyway, tube game. Let's go. Woo! It's basically an obstacle course. Um, if you may manage to make it through the course without falling off, you'll get a uh, Pianta bonus. Alright, just watch ahead and press right. Just keep holding right, jump the hurdles, go underneath these, uh, watch out for lights of sorts. Uh, and bending around the corners. Since you're timed, you, you kind of have to keep going, but the time is pretty lenient overall. Oh, I'm trying to collect Piantas along the way if, you, if they're in your ways, so to speak, because, you know, piantas are profits, and yeah, gotta get those piantas, so we can get those badges, oh jeez, oh jeez, I switched on the edge, <laughs> mm, that was close, I got a little bit too, uh, too antsy to get across that gap, but I made it, it worked out, it all worked out, oh jeez, not the slope, not the slope, oh, and we're almost to the goal, yeah! See what I mean, I'm about to give you plenty of time to get to the goal. Yeah. And it, all that work, and in comparison to the paper game, I only got 15. <laughs> See what I mean about uh, the paper game just giving you more piantas in comparison to other games? Yeah, alright. So, one more time. <laughs> As I said, I'm going to play a couple uh, these games a couple of times in a row, just so you get the feel of them and whatnot. All right, I know the pulse, I mean the light posts of sorts are there, I don't even know what to call them. Uh, and I know oh, Piantas are at this corner. No, I want Piantas this time, because I have more time than I even thought that I had. <laughs> A lot more time than I thought I had actually, so I have time to mess around collecting piantas here and there. So I'm just going to gently go across the track, just carefully. I mean, we got the the cheering crowd there that would tear my heads off if I didn't go at maximum speed for performance IRL or something like that because they want to see the best performance they possibly could, but no, you don't actually have to do that here. <laughs> See, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna get that Pianta, just because I can, I have plenty of time to. Oh yeah, and definitely do not fall off because you'll lose that bonus. So, make sure to have the right angles when you go across things before you go across things, otherwise you'll lose the bonus, and then you'll be disappointed, you have to play the game again, you might lose Piantas in your run, you'll be like, oh, dang it. Duh. <laughs> But yeah, time does also play a factor in uh, uh, the bonus uh, that you get, you know, uh, also at the end there. But you get more of a consistent bonus by avoiding falling off. Alright, here we go. So, I think the Piantas for the most part appear at the same locations. So, if you uh, make your... Oh, maybe not. Maybe... Oh, wait, maybe... I don't know. They seem, they seem to be wherever they want to be. <laughs> Like, there isn't one... Yeah, it's on the other track this time. Yeah, it's too bad. Too bad. So, yeah, I guess they do change positions on each run through this thing. So you can't exactly memorize their locations and then get... up, oh, Get maximum profit off this game each time. Aww. But this is one flashy track, by the way. <laughs> wonder how much... An, aw, I missed one. wonder how much this thing costed to make. Gotta think about that. I mean, with all the lights, the flashiness, the seats that are watching the stadium. Where are these, again, where are these stadiums located? I did not see any sort of stadium like this. That I mean, any sort of place that a stadium like this could fit in Rogueport. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go over to 
the last game now, which is the boat game. And this is by far the most difficult game. So I don't know how many times I'm going to play this one because I might just lose more Piantas than I'm going to win them. So yeah, um, to get the bonus in this one, don't hit any whirlpools. Ever. Ever. Anyway, you know how to sail. Move the control stick. Yeah. This game. Oh, this game. Oh, it could be the end of me. By the way, those whirlpools look pretty dang cool. Oh, like, I want piantas, but I don't know where they're gonna appear. I can't, like, look that far ahead. <laughs> mm -hmm. And bolts kind of steers sort of wide. Alright, uh, I just gotta pay. Oh no, oh no. No, please. I don't, I don't want to sink. I want the bonus. I want the bonus. No, no sinking. No sinking. Oh! <laughs> no sinking. Fast whirlpools of doom will not get me. No siree. Oh, I'm actually pretty decent. <laughs> A lot more decent than I thought I would, actually. And got the Pianta. One Pianta for the time. Oh, look at that. All that work. 11 Piantas for that. I, and, you know, the bonus, you, you can't get hit by any whirlpools. And I was going pretty fast there. So, you pretty much have to not hit any whirlpools in order to get the bonus from this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do it again, though, anyway. Even though it's the riskiest scheme to play, let's do it again, anyway. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can get some Piantas on the track here. Because it seems like they're my best hope for getting maximum Pianta profits. And it's always, it seems like those uh, those whirlpools are right along the closer edge of the track. Probably because it's riskier to be... I mean, it, it, it's faster on the inner edge of the track. Like, you know what racing strategy is. You always go to the inside of the track for maximum speed. Because, you know, you make a smaller circle. And then you, you, you get a faster time as a result of that. So they put the tornado... <laughs> tornadoes? No, whirlpools! around the corner, you know, where it's where it's tightest. Alright, that's a little bit better. Alright, alright, alright. One more time, I suppose, and then I'll hit the slots, I guess. Three, two, one, go! Even though the slots are the most boring game, uh, you can probably make the fastest profits with the slots, in all honesty. But these games, like the um, paper, boat, plane, and um, a tube game are the most fun games to play. So you're probably going to want to play these uh, more, the, uh, more than the slots, if anything. Uh, but the slots, you'll see why they'll give you more profits than any other game, if you're really skilled at them. But if you aren't, well, I wouldn't play them. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised I did not hit any whirlpools on any of my runs. <laughs> Not complaining, though. Yeah, it seems like the ones... Like, the only profits that I'm making on this game are the Piantas that I'm finding on the track along the way here. Like, the ones that are just that just happen to be in my way as I'm going across the track. Alright. Alright, alright. So, slot machines. Thank you. Come in, okay? Alright, I will if I need to. So, these slot machines here, you, there's three different symbols that you can get on these slot machines. You, you can actually see all, this, all the symbols on the screen here. Um, if you get three Dom Piantas, you'll get three coins. If you get three stars, you'll get 15 coins. And if you get all sevens, you'll get 100 coins. Yeah, a whopping 100 coins for this. But as you can tell, the, the slots are really, really fast. However, um, the, the sevens, because they're diff so much of a different color than the other ones, they re they stand out quite strongly in contrast to the other ones. So you can actually get good at this and get um, three sevens fairly consistently. So let's see if I can get some sevens. Eh. Oh, got a pianta. Eh. Well, that's decent. Profit! It costs one coin to play there, in case you didn't realize that. Alright. 69 coins. A favorite number of some people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang it. I think I'm a little bit late in my timing. 
Ah, ah poopers. Poopers, scoopers. Okay, you just think of the sevens as like ticks. Like whenever the seven passes through, think of a tick, like go tick, 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 as it's going past it, and then when you then press the A button to stop it when you tick. So it's something that you gotta practice. Oh, damn, I wanted the blue ones. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch for the colors if you're aiming for something in particular. That's terrible. Chances are you actually are going to get more profit than losses on the slots if you just keep playing them, even if you play them randomly, because the slots are pretty easy to win at. It's it's when you're aiming for sevens that you could end up losing. Like if I just randomly press through buttons. Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe you will lose pretty fast that way. <laughs> I just remember winning pretty decently by mashing buttons on this. But I must have just been really lucky. Yeah, my eyes get dizzy just watching these things. <laughs> like it's... I just can't seem to get my mojo back to get sevens. And I have gotten three sevens before on this, so... I'm losing so much. <laughs> Maybe it's harder to win on these things than I remember. Just stick with the paper game. <laughs> E. E. No, come on! <laughs> Can't even get three piantas. E. Oh. Mm. Can I get blues? No! Blue. Blue. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Profit finally! <laughs> yeah! Alright. Only I'm kind of breaking even here. Oh, starting to get the hang of them. Nope. No. Da. The slots. They taunt me. Oh, I clicked that by I clicked by mistake. I have to aim for greens this time, I guess. Nope. Mm. Come on, profit! Mm. Mm. It's like two slots out of three just match up, but the other one, no. It's like, you're not gonna get those profits. Oh no, you're not gonna get those profits. No, not gonna happen. No. <laughs> Watch those colors stop. Mm. <laughs> the green and the blue sort of blend together. Mm. Mm. So if you're aiming for anything, it probably is easiest to actually aim for the sevens. <laughs> even though there, even though there's more colors of the other ones. Mm. 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 Dang it! I really should go for the paper game if I want profit, shouldn't I? <laughs> Curses! <laughs> I can't even get a seven on the first slot now. Maybe it stops later than I think it does. Maybe I should press it a little bit sooner than I think. Nope. <laughs> It's like I, I have the slots, the slot wheels memorized by now, but it doesn't help me. <laughs> e. E. Mm. 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 <laughs> e. Mm. Mm. Dang it. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Big money. No, that's going to give me three if I win this. Well, it's a win. <laughs> Arr, 
Ah, I don't keep going at this. I've got a bone to pick with this machine. E. I don't know if the other one's any different, actually. Like, maybe... No, let's just see. I don't think they're any different. No, I don't think the slots are any different. E. 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 <laughs> Man, it's harder to, game, to win on this game than I thought. I should say, it's harder to win on this, on this game than I remember. <laughs> the paper game! <laughs> Holy mother of pearl! There's so many mice! <laughs> That's just insanity! I've never seen that many mice play this game at once. Ever. Holy Toledo. And now the bomb storm. What the? Is it because I'm playing this game so many times in a row that the opponents are repeating? I, I, I well not repeating, I mean duplicating. <laughs> what in the? What the? I've, what the? I can't believe that. <laughs> All right, this should be the final race because after this, I'm going to have over 268 piantas. More specifically, 272 piantas. Yeah! Oh yeah! And with that, I'm done here. <laughs> Slot machines, I raise my middle finger to you. <laughs> Alright, let's trade in the winnings. Yes, I will stand on the counter. And refund badge. You are mine. Yes. Alright, and the money money badge. Beyond the parlor, 100% complete. No, thank you. Middle finger. <laughs> uh, okay, now for the badges that I got here. Uh, make more coins appear off uh, after battle, and refund some coins if you use an item in battle. So that increases my badge count from 80 to 82. So there's only three left and they are all in the pit of 100 trials. Ooh. Of which I'll do later. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And I'm gonna end off the party. I kind of went off in order there, but it doesn't matter. I really do hope you enjoy and that you see the next part. Yeah, I'm just messing this ending up on purpose now. <laughs> <laughs>